Good morning, y'all. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Um, feeling very. Feeling. So, about to get ready to go to Crunch Fitness today. We have a pool day. Oh yeah, check out my baby. Yeah, she's good. But um, today's a pool day, so that's biceps and back. I don't know how I'm feeling on deadlifts today. Not gonna say I'm going for like a certain number. Because I haven't deadlifted at all this week, so this will be like my first uh, deadlift session. So, yeah, we're going to see how I feel. I had a lot of food yesterday, so hopefully that can, you know, transpire over to some energy for these pools this morning. But, yeah, it's about, hope that time is right. Yes, yeah, it's 2 o'clock. Woke up a little late. I'm going to take this do-rag off. I already got the pre-workout mixed up. You know how that go. I'm about to get it ready. But yeah, I see all that crunch. Yo, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. It's your boy, Deadlift Daddy. Let's get it. So today was a um, push day. So we got chest, shoulders, and triceps. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. The diet is kicking my ass. I got to be honest. You're going to see in this video, like, I wouldn't say I was expecting to stay super strong while I keep dropping weight and cutting my calories down, but I wasn't feeling too strong today. Um, I went up to 295 for just one, like, especially because I didn't have a spotter. This is a new gym I'm trying out. This gym is dope as hell. This is a gym that, like, I can train everything, but I can't deadlift there. They don't have, like, a deadlift setup. And if I, the way I deadlift, I'm gonna use all the weight and I'm gonna piss the people off there. It's not like a powerlifting gym, but it's a clean ass gym. They got dope ass machines and I can definitely get like an arm day, chest day, shoulder, all that, legs there. I just can't deadlift there, but that's okay though. But yeah, right there, that was 295. Like, I'm talking to myself like that shit was fucking heavy today. Let's uh, drop the weight. And then I had 275 here. It was supposed to be a three by three. And I was like, after that second rep, I was like, I'm not feeling that at all. We're just going to go to 245. And then I dropped that down and did 245 for three. And then I did a set that I didn't record. I did two. I ended up making basically 245 my working set. Yeah, it was it was crazy, guys. Like I had a was I can't blame it because I was fasted because I fast all the time. Most of the time in the morning, I do fast. Like as I'm recording this, because today's um. Today should be the 29th. It's the next day as I'm doing this voiceover so I can upload it. And then I'm going to the gym to do a pool day. But that's 245 right there. It was moving pretty smooth. It wasn't too bad. But yeah, like I was saying, like, I don't know. I was feeling weak. So, like, I dropped the weight down to 245 from my working sets. And then I moved on to uh, triceps. So, I did some tricep pull downs. I'm, I got three sets here. 
I did three and then I superset it, it with uh, lateral raises for 20. So both three sets, 20 reps on both exercises. But yeah, today's a pool day. Probably won't record it. I'm probably gonna end up going to the uh, YMCA. I won't go back here since I got deads today, but yeah, I'm not sick, y'all. I just woke up, I think, because I had my heat on, my nose is a little stuffy. But these lateral raises for 20 reps also. I'm gonna try to keep doing the voiceovers because I, I see a lot of people in my messages actually fuck with the voiceovers, so we're gonna keep it pushing, you feel me? But make sure on your shoulder day, you add these in. If you want your shoulders to pop, add these in. Remember, you don't have to go super heavy. That's 20 pounds right there. I use 15s to, I use 10 sometimes. You don't have to have, grab 25s, 30s, and all. You can if you want, but if your form's gonna be off, don't jeopardize your, jeopardize it. It's not worth it. But yeah, moving on, we came into the uh, standing military press. I was feeling good. I don't know. Like I warmed up, threw a 10 on, threw a quarter, quarter and 10. Then I threw this 45 on this 135 right here. That move perfect. Like I felt good. Like I was like, okay, bet we may get a PR today on this. Got my belt on, got my wrist wraps. You know, you don't need all that. But you know, when I do this movement, I like to be safe because this is a pretty powerful movement definitely going to help increase my bench that's why i started bringing this movement back because when my bench was a little bit stronger i was doing this movement like twice a week sorry i'm feeling good that's 185 Psh, body was like nah put that down my guy is not here today i'd done it like two weeks ago so i thought i could do it again but it wasn't there so i got pissed off and then fucking grab 135 and did that for about like eight to ten i think i was like fuck it man if i can't get 185 for one i'm just gonna rep out 135 for my last set and as you can see, I was pushing. And that's good form, too. By the way, I need to shave my back. Like, I was looking at these videos and like, what the freak, bro? Like, god damn, single life, man. It's hard to shave your own back. But anyway, we'll talk about that later in the next video. <laughs> yeah, I be geeking on these voiceovers. But yeah, that's like, I think that's nine or 10 I just did. And I was hyped because I'm like, damn, I ain't never done that before. You feel me? Then we moved on to these, uh, no, it's like I said, it's a push day. So we got to do uh, chest, shoulders, and triceps. I never really do my triceps like this, but they said it may hit the other heads that I need to grow. Like, notice three heads of the triceps. I don't know if everybody knows that. But yeah, this is, I think this is gonna help my long head of my tricep, they should. I don't know, like I was feeling them. Then I like switched them, I like switched it up a little bit cause I was like, hmm, I'm not feeling them like that. But then as soon as I made a little adjustment, like right here, I started feeling them. They was feeling good cause I started to pump them out like crazy. And then from here, I moved on to dumbbells. So we did like three sets. No, I did four sets, eight to nine. I started with the 75s, then I moved on to the 80s, the 90s, then I finished with the 100s. Next time when I do these, I'm actually gonna start with like 80s or 90s so to see if I can really, how much weight I can push because with me starting with the 75s and shit like that, it's like, bro, you're wasting time. Go grab that fucking heavy weight and push that shit. Stop being a bitch, JT. <laughs> And then for my last two movements right here, this is the pec fly. Love these. You want to get a good squeeze. Do not rush these. You can start your uh, chest day with these or you can end me. Personally, I like to end with them because I already got so much blood in my chest. So I'm just breaking down on fibers even more. And you really want to squeeze and get you a good stretch. Like, so like, yeah, you said just squeeze. But like I said, this new gym was fucking amazing. Love it. Can't tell y'all what it is yet. Because I don't want nobody popping up there when I'm enjoying my time. Like, I don't mind talking to people when I'm at the gym. But it's like, bro, I'm on my rest time and you're still talking to me. Like, I'm not rude. I talk to anybody I say at the gym. But you know when you're trying to lock in and focus, like, you got to go. When I'm in the gym, that hour, 30, that two hours, whatever, I stay in there. Even if it's just an hour, I'm locked in and I'm trying to get it. And this was the last movement. Triceps. Once again. This machine is fucking bomb. They don't have it at all at gyms. But that was the end of this workout. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Love is love. Love everybody who loved me. Let's get it.